what's up guys it's may's impact um we're gonna start it off like we always do with the hype show uh this this month it's going to be get to know them bucket head edition so we've got some volunteers thankful for volunteers we've got scarlett maccabee elijah <laughs> elijah maccabee and the all-knowing never forgetting Mom, Tara McAbee. So, all right, so we're going to ask a series of like 10 questions, and whoever it is, they're going to get dunked. Um, this is water, probably ice cold. It's not warm out, warmed up yet, so no further ado. Let's get started. All right, so here we go. Here we go. Question one Who's the better driver? <laughs> Who's the funniest? <laughs> Who's the most outgoing? <laughs> Who's going to take care of you when you get older? <laughs> Who's the messiest? <laughs> Who spends the most time on their phone? <laughs> Who's most likely to move off for college? <laughs> Who sleeps the latest? <laughs> Who's better academically? <laughs> Who's the one that keeps you waiting up at night? <laughs> awesome. All right, bonus question. We have a special. You can come in front of them if you want to, if you, if you need to. If not, okay. All right, bonus question. Who's your favorite? <laughs> 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 awesome awesome the most dreaded question for any mom all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you know these guys a little better now and y'all have a good evening let's go into worship Hey guys, welcome to Impact. Thank you so much for joining online with us. Wherever you are, we'd like to invite you to worship with us.
What's up, Impact? It's May, Impact, man. One big party, let's go, all right? Hope y'all enjoyed worship. I hope y'all enjoyed that ridiculous hype show. Thank you, Scarlett and Elijah and their mom, Tara. Uh, that was some fun stuff, man. Uh, y'all got a gift in the mail on the way, all right? So uh, anyways, man, we love you guys. We miss you. We wish we were having one big party um, like all in one in the same place, but we're having one big party at your house tonight, all right? So uh, bring your mom and dad in, bring your brothers and sisters, and hopefully you got some friends. Um, you already text them, told them to tune in. If you haven't, do that right now. But uh, man, tonight's one big party. So instead of one person bringing the message tonight, we got like a whole team. So there's gonna be people jumping in and out, bringing like short portions of the message. Um, that you, like your attention span should not uh, be challenged at all tonight. Cause we got, we got every spectrum tonight bringing the word. So um, tonight, like we're gonna talk about Galatians 5, 22 and 23 which is um, the fruits of the Spirit. And I felt strongly in my spirit that we were supposed to talk about that tonight because I feel like sometimes we're trying to like muster up or like create those fruits of the Spirit when the truth is the fruits of the Spirit is already on the inside of you because God has already put the Holy Spirit and He's already put His divine love on the inside of you. So I'm gonna read this verse and uh, you can turn to it in your Bible if you got it or on your phone. You can pull it up maybe or something like that or write it down. Galatians 5, 22 and 23 in the Passion Translation, okay? It says this, but the fruit produced by the Holy Spirit within you is divine love in all its varied expressions. So this is its varied expressions right here. Joy that overflows, peace that subdues, patience that endures, kindness in action, a life full of virtue, faith that prevails, gentleness of heart, and the strength of spirit. Now listen to this last part. Never set the law above these qualities, for they are meant to be limitless. You have a limitless amount of patience on the inside of you. Limitless amount of love, of faith, of of um, just of, of all those spirits. You have a limitless amount of those. So it's not something you have to muster up. Basically, all you have to do is say yes to those. And they start working in your life and they start affecting everybody around you. So tonight we got a few people that's gonna help us preach the message, man. We're gonna talk about a few of these fruits. So get comfortable, get a notebook, get, some, get ready to take some notes, get ready to laugh. And, um, and I'll see you guys in just a couple minutes. Love you guys. What's up, Impact? It's Braxton Davis here. Um, I'm one of the Impact student leaders. I'm super excited to hang out with y'all tonight. One big party. Raise the roof, raise the roof, wherever you're at. If you're in your bedroom, raise the bedroom roof. Uh, if you're in the bathroom, raise the bathroom roof. That's pretty weird bringing us into your intimate areas of your home, but I'm cool with it if you're cool with it, amen? Um, the Holy Spirit's gonna meet you wherever you're at, no matter where you're at. Um, it's so cool, that's why I love the Holy Spirit. That's why I love God so much. That's why he's such a good father, amen? Uh, if you're enjoying the message so far, if you've enjoyed this one big party, go ahead and like the video. Go ahead and uh, give it some hearts on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Give some hearts in the chat. Uh, give uh, 100 emojis. I'll give you all a couple seconds to find that 100 emoji or the fire emoji or both if you're really enjoying it amen give that up give a fire and a 100 emoji for the uh, praise and worship team um, so tonight with uh, all the fruits of the spirit I want to talk to y'all about a faith that prevails see faith can prevail over sickness faith can prevail over death faith can pre prevail over depression faith can prevail over any mountain through any sea no matter where you're at in the deepest darkest cave faith will still shine brighter than ever amen so um to grow any fruit though you got to focus on the root now i'm no um biologist or biome mastermind i don't have a nobel peace prize or any other science award um but i know that to grow the fruit you have to focus on the root See, if you're growing an apple tree and uh, you, you don't water it, you don't give the root water, then the apples aren't gonna grow. It's gonna have these little green nasty apples that'll probably make your stomach upset. Uh, I don't really know. I don't know where I'm going with that. But anyways, your root is your faith. 
and your faith comes from your heart. So tonight, let's do a little bit of heart surgery together. Amen? Um, the verse I want to tag on with faith that prevails is Proverbs 4, 23. And it is this. It's a real easy verse. You ready? Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. And what that pretty much says, I'm going to repeat it, everything flows from your heart. Your actions, your words, the way you treat your mama and your daddy, the way you treat your friends, what you post on social media, uh, the things you watch, uh, the things you text, the posts you like, amen? Uh, the TikToks you're doing. Don't nobody need to see you shaking your booty on TikTok, amen? Uh, <laughs> so uh, I just wanted to talk to y'all a couple things uh, real quick in this moment I have with you guys. I want to talk about how to guard your heart. And I have three ways, all right? So write this down. One, two, three, okay? Or text it or uh, put it in your notes, whatever it is. You're at home. You ain't got no excuse. Um, I, I, I know. I know, okay? So the first thing to do is to control your thoughts. Um, so when you take your thoughts captive, okay, then you can you can catch them before they take hold in your heart. Amen? So, like, you think... You think to yourself, oh, I should probably dog that guy, or oh, I should probably write that he's built like a Q-tip on his on his comment section in Instagram. But but I'm not gonna do that because I got ho a hold of my thoughts, amen? The second thing to do is watch your words. Number two, watch your words. Um, so you can speak words of life, or you can speak words of death. When I get more time with you guys, I'm gonna talk about words of life, amen, and words of death. But so you wanna watch your words. You don't wanna speak bad over somebody. You don't wanna speak bad over a situation. And the third thing is to trust God. When you have faith and trust God, you give it, whatever it is, to God, and He will do what only God can do. See, God faith splits the seas. God faith moves the mountain. God faith talks to Lazarus and says, get up, Lazarus. God faith forgives the unforgivable. God faith loves the unlovable. Amen? God faith can overcome anything. And that's what I wanted to share with y'all tonight. Just remember those three ways how to guard your heart and have a faith that prevails over everything. What's up, Impact? My name's Justin. I'm one of the Impact leaders here with this awesome group of guys we got. So I'm gonna jump right into it. We're talking about the fruits of the Spirit. And mine tonight I wanna to talk about is patience with endurance. Who's, whose patience is being tested during this quarantine? If you thought you had some, you're fixing to find out how much you've got. And with endurance, how long get it last? That's the endurance part of it. How long can you keep up this endurance? So when I looked up patience, it means the capacity to tolerate delay trouble or suffering without getting upset or angry. So if you've got the little brother and sister that you've not been quarantined with for the last six weeks because you were in school and now you're quarantined with them, how is that patience working in your home when you can't get away, you can't, you can't go anywhere, you can't go to your buddy's house? How, how are you dealing with it? Um, so the best way to bear our fruit is to stay connected to the vine, which is Jesus. So when you, when you when the fruit comes off the vine, at that point, it's not going to keep growing. It's time to it's, it's actually starting to die. So so to, to bear it, stay connected to the vine. Uh, my first verse is going to be Galatians six and nine. Let us not grow weary in doing good. At the right time, we will harvest a good crop if we do not give up. So that that's the endurance part of that. If you do not give up, like there's so many people that's almost made it. But they gave up just just right before that. I mean, I mean, they were there and they didn't get the harvest because they gave up. So don't give up. The, this little season, it's gonna pass. Don't give up. Um, and going to our 2020 uh, resolution for New Year's, not a lot of us probably prayed for patience. We probably were praying for like new stuff. We we're probably praying for blessings, money. But had we known what April, May, June, all this is gonna look like, a lot of us were to get our prayer. Lord, give us patience that, that will endure because this, this has been a long time of quarantine for all of us. And if you, um, if you, if you want to know, patience re requires self-control. So you control your patience or your impatience. So it's coming from you. you, you you're not really going to get it from anybody else. You, you, have, to, you have to do that yourself. Yeah. Next verse I've got is Romans 8.25. If we hope for what we do not see, we wait on it with patience. So think about a farmer. Uh, he's going to grow acres and acres of corn. The quickest that harvest is going to come is 60 to 100 days. So that is a long time to wait for, and there's a lot of things that could go on during that time. I mean, you could have a drought, you could have too much rain, all that. But before he gets to even see his harvest, he's got to wait that long. Some of us can't wait 60, 
seconds to a minute for the microwave to heat up our popcorn. You know what I mean? So, I mean, our patience, it varies in, in, each, in each thing that we do. Um, and there's some men in the Bible that had a lot of patience. Um, David, David waited 15 years after he was anointed by Samuel to come, become the king of Judah. Abraham waited 25 years to have the son that he was going to have so, so many children like the Sea of the Sand. 25 years for his first son to be born, which was Isaac, that he was promised. That's a long time. And, I, and it wasn't Abraham was given that when he was born. Abraham was already old when he was given that. Still had to wait 25 years. And then um, Nehemiah waited four months for the, for the Lord to answer his first prayer. And Nehemiah had a hard four months. He was a cupbearer to a Persian king. And what a cupbearer was, they drank the drink to make sure it wasn't poison before it went to the king. So um, your waiting period can be four months to 25 years going by Bible time. And so I'm going to wind all this up um, for patience. Let's let God's waiting season be a working season and not a wasted season. So like while you're being patient at home, work to get closer to God. Work yeah. to get stronger in your faith. Work to get better in your prayer life. Don't let it be wasted and come out of it and say, man, I, I, I've done nothing, nothing good. And the last thing I'm going to give you, the trial you're going through is temporary, but the reward of your harvest will last forever if you have the patience to endure it. Amen. What's going on, Impact? This is AJ. I'm an Impact Leader here at Cornerstone. And I just want to talk to you guys tonight about peace that subdues. The word subdues means to take authority over something or to shut the mouth of something. So I'm going to be talking tonight about peace that takes authority over things, okay? So uh, when I was younger, um, I remember just being full of fear and full of anxiety. I would have anxiety attacks and panic attacks all the time. I mean, I just lived with crippling fear. There'd be some nights where I wouldn't even go to sleep till the sun came up because I just had so much fear. And even when I got saved, I still struggled with this fear. And there might be some of you who, who struggle with fear. And this word's for you. You know, it wasn't until I got a hold of this word that things began to change for me. I would, I would just read the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and John. I would just read the Gospels over and over and over again and just read about the life of Jesus. And I believe Jesus walked in something that a lot of us don't walk in. I believe He walked in a thing called aggressive peace. Now what do I mean by aggressive peace? That means that every situation and environment that Jesus found Himself in, whether if it was chaotic, or of the enemy, it was forced to change by the peace that was on the inside of him. Yeah. There's a story in the Bible where Jesus was asleep in the bottom of a boat. I'm gonna read that for you real quick. It's in Mark 4, verse 35 through 39, and this is in the NLT. It says this, As evening came, Jesus said to his disciples, Let's cross to the other side of the lake. So they took Jesus in the boat and started out, leaving the crowds behind, although other boats followed. But soon a fierce storm came up. High waves were breaking into the boat and it began to fill with water. Jesus was sleeping at the back of the boat with his head on a cushion. The disciples woke him up shouting, Teacher, don't you care that we're going to drown? When Jesus woke up, he rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Silence, be still. And suddenly the wind stopped and there was a great calm. And that's why it's important for you to not let what the chaos that's going on in the world get inside of you. Because when you let the chaos get inside of you, it begins to make you question the love that Jesus has for you. And you know, Jesus said uh, somewhere in the Gospels, I, he said, when he's, when he, before he ascends into heaven, he says to his disciples, peace I leave with you. Not the peace that the world gives, but my peace. Jesus has given each and every one of you his peace. The peace that caused him to sleep in the middle of a storm. You have no authority over a storm you can't sleep through. Amen. And so, um, listen, I don't care what environment you might find yourself in. Um, do not let the storm or the chaos get inside of you and begin to let you to question the love that Jesus has for you. Amen? All right, guys. So y'all heard some awesome messages already. Um, I'm going to be talking about, I'm going to end it up with joy that overflows. All right? And this has been big on my heart probably for, man, almost a year. I've been, like, thinking about joy just about the power of just um, laughing, just the general, um, just the feeling that getting around some people and just laughing with what that does for you. 
Um, let, let's answer. Let's ask a question right quick. Why does the Holy Spirit produce joy that overflows inside of you? All right. Number one, God wants us to be strong. Okay. And the joy of the Lord is our strength. What it says in Nehemiah chapter eight. So. If you've ever wondered, like, what makes me strong, okay, it's the joy of the Lord that's inside of you. Yeah. That's what makes you strong. When you, you can go through a pandemic, if you have the joy of the Lord yeah, yeah. on the inside of you, it don't affect you. Amen. Amen. Number two, God wants us to be a blessing. All right? God says he loves a cheerful giver. So what does that mean for the people that aren't cheerful that give? No, he loves them too. But, but, but honestly, man, he just loves a cheerful giver. He loves a hilarious giver. He loves somebody who, who just, um, just has a good time. It says in Proverbs 11, 24 in the message that the world of the generous gets larger and larger. God wants your world to expand, all right? And you do that by just being generous and just loving to be a giver of your time, of your talent, of your of your ears of listening just listening to people giving people your time your attention all right number three god wants us to be healthy mentally physically and spiritually listen to this proverbs 17 a merry heart does good like a medicine yeah all right a merry heart is it's better than medicine guys mm -hmm. um God sits in heaven and he laughs, is what it says in Psalms 2. He just sits up there and he laughs. Here's what I think he la He laughs. He says, um, he, he doesn't take himself too seriously. So like, like sometimes I think he just sits up there and he's laughing and he's like, man, what was I thinking creating all these cats? You know what I'm saying? Like, he's just like, really? He's like listening. He's like, angels, did y'all hear that? Somebody just said LeBron was better than Jordan. <laughs> all right? Like, he's just laughing, right? It's hilarious. It's funny. So... Um, how do I choose joy? You know now, I gotta choose joy. Joy is my strength, man. Joy is gonna help me. It's like a medicine, right? So how do I choose joy and how do I give that joy to others? It's really easy. Joy in the Greek is the word charis, okay? And charis means grace, okay? So joy actually means, get this, grace recognized, okay? Grace recognized. When I recognize grace, Okay, I overflow with joy. Okay, it has that effect on me. It has that effect in my life. So when I start thinking about the grace I've been given, I start thinking about, you know, I start thinking about just the undeserved gift of God that He's given me. Maybe, maybe it's the talent. Maybe it's it's my family. Maybe it's my breath, my food, the place I live in, my friends. All right, the calling God's put on my life. It's the grace of God that gave you that. So when I recognize that grace on my life, man, just, just the power of the Holy Spirit, the joy on the inside of me just starts like, just starts overflowing, okay? So can, can I tell you this? The joy that overflows comes when you start recognizing all the things that God's did for you. Amen? Amen. I hope you guys enjoyed um, all the message you heard tonight. Worship, man, Grace and the worship team was amazing. The hot show was so much fun. But, man, the reason we do all of this every single month, every second Wednesday we meet, is because we want you to know Jesus. Jesus, he died on the cross for you. You're sitting there and you're thinking, for me, yeah, for you. And if it would have just, just been you, only you, he did it for the whole world, but he would have did it just for you. So, man, if you're just sitting there, maybe you're sitting beside one of your friends and you already know they've made this decision. You say, man, I want to make this decision. It's really easy, okay? And I, I, all I'm going to do is I'm going to pray a prayer, and I want you to say this after me and pray this prayer after me, all right? Say this. Say, Father God, Father God, thank you. Thank you. For sending your son Jesus. For sending your son Jesus. To die on the cross for me. To die on the cross for me. I accept his gift. I accept his gift. Of salvation. Of salvation. Tonight I'm saved. Tonight I'm saved. Go into heaven. Go into heaven. Change forever. Change forever. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Congratulations, man. If you made that decision, what I want you to do, man, if you're bold enough, is just drop down in the chat and let us know, man, hey, I got saved tonight. There's also a link in the chat right now. That's, that is a link for a connect card. We want you to fill out that digital connect card. Even if you didn't pray a prayer to get saved, maybe you have like a prayer request. Maybe it's your first time hearing about Impact Night or maybe you've never been to Impact Night and uh, you want to just get some more info, man. 
let hit us up in that uh, connect card, man, and let us know, um, you know, where you're at, what you're going on. We we want to be able to like um, connect with you for sure. Okay, uh, I got a few announcements before we let you go. All right, so um, right here to the left, you'll see. Maybe you can see text Impact News to three one three one three one. All right, Impact News, one word. Impact News to 313131, all right? If you do that, you're going to get all things Impact, okay? We, we, we remind you about service. We remind you about things going on, trips. Um, anything we're doing, we're going to send that to you, okay? So that's for students. That's for parents. Uh, anybody who wants to know anything about Impact, man, you text that in. You'll get some text back, and uh, we'll be able to connect with you. Also, on Instagram, most of you guys are on Instagram, Impact Students underscore. Uh, we send out a lot of good stuff, a lot of devotionals, some videos, um, just some fun stuff, challenges, stuff like that. Um, so if you guys want to follow us on Instagram, we'd love to. Also, on this Instagram account, only in about two weeks, probably less than two weeks, we're going to release some news about an event we have every year. It's our summer camp called Motion. Okay, so some of you have already signed up for Motion. Some of you still need to sign up for Motion. Okay, it's July the 23rd through the 25th. All right, and it's not canceled, okay? So in a couple weeks, I'm gonna give you some details about that. So I want you guys to um, definitely go invite some friends, invite some people around you. Um, also, Worship Under Stars is the week after motion, okay? And um, everybody loves that event. I know you guys love it. You're looking forward to it. We're also gonna, when we announce about motion, we're also gonna announce some things about Worship Under Stars that, um, that we're pretty hype about, okay? So uh, it's gonna be good. We love you guys and uh, can't wait to see you. And we'll keep you updated also on Instagram about the um, uh, restrictions and as they lift and if we're able to have impact night like in person or if we're gonna keep doing it digitally or whatever. So we'll keep you updated. Love you guys. Can't wait to see you. Follow us on Instagram. We'll see you there. We got an after party right now. Okay, so go to Instagram impact students underscore right now the after party is starting and it's going to be great we're going live on instagram we're going to be doing some giveaways we're going to give away a pizza we're going to give away some gift cards we're going to have some man we're going to have all kinds of fun games stuff some of the leaders are helping us out with that we may even grab you and get you to put get on the screen with us okay so go to instagram right now we're going live right now we'll see you at the after party love you guys